Welcome back to another Doggers Ben Model Railway Review. Today we're looking at the new Ausseason 422 class locomotive. These retail for $330 Australian for non sound or for $435 for DCC sound with lock sound decoder. Okay, let's start opening the model. Note I'm not using a tripod, so it's I'll have to stop and start footage occasionally. It is a lovely box. With the information of what this locomotive is. The box is always lovely for my decision. The phone, the phone packing material and the gumph. Such as exploded diagram and information about um, this model has the, uh, this model has this model has um, including this on DC models. This is a 21 pin DCC ready model. Information warranty safety note. And on the back, we have our functions for the decoder. This is how to install DCC. The micro switches. How to maintain locomotive and spare, spare parts. Uh, this is not the first time I've opened this model, lad. First time I opened this model, I found some broken parts in the box. I don't know where these parts go. So one of the broken parts is the bogey chain. I couldn't get the bogey chain back into the slot, so I regrettably had to cut it off. For a diagram. But I refuse to let a few broken parts sour my experience with this locomotive. As you see, it's very well packed. Also, you can do a very good job packing the model. And there's the broken parts in the bottom of the box. I still don't have a clue what they are or where they've come from. I've looked all over the model, I cannot find a single thing that looks like that's where they're from. Without. They are not one handed, this is a lot more diff this is more this is more easier said than done. I do wish um Oz chains would start doing packaging like this, I've not seen their I've not done, seen their 30 class tank engine, so I'm not sure if they have updated the packaging. But by going off the um, off the 40 off the 41 class and all other locos I've seen off there, they have that foam packaging that I, I really do hate. This model does weigh a fair bit. I, I don't have a scale, so I cannot can't scale it like I used to, but. There she is. For, uh, for, for this this locomotive, uh, double four two twenty seven, was built by A. E. Goodwin in Sydney in nineteen seventy two. Withdrawn on the twenty third of the of the ninth, nineteen ninety one. And she was sent to South Australia to be part of a rebuild program. The rebuild program was cancelled. Though so it eventually came back, but they were turned parts would would have been turned parts is like maybe still under RL class locomotives, but essentially the program was cancelled and scrapped. The locomotive has seafood grills, nice bogies, very nice bogies, lots of detail as you see that that ladder is metal. Oh, she has the state shield shield on. I like the colour. Though with me transitioning to another era, this paint job is no longer as applicable as it used to be. You do have separately the operational headlight, marker lights, and number ward. You have a KD compatible knuckle coupler. You have separately applied air hoses on the front. 
you have a crew in the cab. No, I think there's only no, there's two. The ladders of metal. On the bottom, we have the um, micro switches. So you can turn on in individual feature features and turn them off for DC operation. And that's a fairly amount of metal weight there. Like, You have a see-through fan grill, brass horns, some parts of this roof you can actually see through, but that's just how, I'm not sure if that's how the prototype is, but there's the ray sections. I do remember these um, double four twos from when I was a kid. Okay, so now she's on the track, let's see what the functions are. Function zero will be headlight. Yep, that works. Function one is not applicable, it's not in use. Function two should be the air horn. Yep. Function three, drive hold. Not sure what that function does, I'm pretty sure yeah, I'm not quite sure what that does. We'll have to see. Function 4 is done next. Function 5, the locomotive brakes. Um, function 6, headlight dimmer. Let's see. Let's see that. 6. Yep, it does what it says on the box. Function 7, front headlight markers and number board. So these you can set to any way you want. So we'll leave it like that since you'll be going forward. Number eight starts the prime mover. Nine, function nine puts the lights at the upper end. Function six, manual coupling sounds. Okay, let's try that. Okay. Oh, hang on. Nothing's happened. Oh, oops. Wrong button. Let's try that again. Function 10. Function 11, coast. Function 12, take to round 8. Function 11, manual cooling fans. Um, uh, function 13, I meant in your cooling fans. Okay. That must be uh, one you need the sound on for. Function 14, accelerate slash shut mode. Turns off any momentum and runs at half speed. Function 16, Sanders. 17, manual, uh, manual compressors. Function 18, that is your set brakes, release brake. Uh, 19 and 20 are non-use. 21, just for the head, head, headlight on and off one end. Uh, function 22, headlight on and off number two end. <coughs> function 23, Number boards, number 24, the number board at the other end. Number, 20, uh, number 25 and 26, marker lights at A and B ends. And 27 will give you the red ones. The red ones you can even buy in a second. As the red of this one is, you can get them as Indian red, you can get them as reverse, candy, white, red, red, blue. Dark plate rod blue. R and H transport. C F C L A. Southern Shore Hall Railroad, which is a beautiful yellow blue. And B B B H P. One O One.
While this Lego is running around preparing its training, let me give you some information about the surprise. In, 19, in, 19, in 1970 to 1973, the New South Wales Government Railway were looking for a new boxcar diesel to replace the aging 40 class A18 A18. They were traded in for new Coco boxcar black maze. 40 were built in, in all using some of the trading parts. Good, Goodwin and Co built. 34 of these. Cohen Col built 6 of them. The prime mover is a uh, Alco 12251C. Horsepower rating is 2150. In the Alco catalogue, they have be, been classified as DL500G. In South Australian Railway, the had some and they were called the 700 class. They ran all over New South Wales, and in 1985, 442s, 23, 27, 29, and 30 ran to Victoria. This ceased in 1978. The introduction of the 82s and 90s class locomotives withdrawal started in 1994. None of these class and as many are still in operation as of this year. This is 2019. One has been preserved. Twelve have been rebuilt into GLs, with the prime movers from withdrawn GEC 30s 7As. I'm not sure what else is involved in, in the rebuild, but twelve ha have been fitted with a GE 7F DL, and eighteen of this class have been scrapped, unfortunately. But you may ask, ask me, what, what do you think the future is for the Jumbos? I think they, they will be around for many more years. And the Aussie models, I think they're on for a hit again. Thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you think of the class. What do you, what, what do you think of this new format of the video? Is it too long? Is it too short? Anyway, I hope to see you next time.